Hello guys, what's up? It's Roll here, bringing you guys a NHL logo quiz. Not just any logo quiz, it is the defunct logo quiz video um, with teams. Today we are going to be doing we're going to be doing two quizzes, one logo, one guessing. Now I'm going to talk about some NHL for a little bit. The NHL was was born in 1917 after the procedure of the NHA. Um, four teams came about into this league. The NH um. The Montreal Wanderers, the Montreal Maroons, the Montreal Canadiens, the Quebec Bulldogs. Yes, there were three Montreal teams. So then, they proceeded to build up more with the addition. No, wait. The, no, that's not right. Ottawa Senators, Montreal Wanderers. Yeah, it's a, yeah, sorry. Ottawa Senators instead of the Montreal Maroons. So anyway, after some expansion, we were left with the Boston Bruins. Uh, so after some um, uh, contraction, relocation, all that stuff, we were left with six teams. Toronto, the Boston Bruins, the first ever American team. The Montreal Canadiens, the New York Rangers, the Toronto Maple Leafs, the Detroit Red Wings, the Chicago Blackhawks. Nothing was changed until the expand the teams. The teams transferring from the WHL in 1970, 19, no, 1967 or 1970, I'm not sure. Teams were transferring, were, were put into place, such as the Golden Seals and the Vancouver Canucks. This, this, fran this league was about to be the biggest deal. The emergence of the WHA, which had the Quebec Nordiques and Matin Oilers, the first Winnipeg Jets, the the Hartford Whalers, but sadly things did not go well, as the Hartford Whalers went to Carolina to become the Hurricanes. The Jets became. The, the Arizona Coyotes, which is the least probable profitable team today. The Nordiques sadly left their city to go to Colorado to become the Avalanche. As for Edmonton, it survived and it's still surviving to this date. As for expansion, the most successful team, as well, not six, not not successful expansion team, the most successful team in the NHL, no doubt in anybody's mind, is the Montreal Canadiens of the NHL. Yes, I had some pride for them because they owned the days of the NHL despite some Stanley Cup winners from small teams. But now, since the Montreal Canadiens are out of the way, new teams are on the rise, such as the Boston Bruins, who only sadly won one Stanley Cup. Uh... The Pittsburgh Penguins, the Chicago Blackhawks, who are a part of the, uh, the, uh, the, not the Nashville Predators, sadly, 
who had been to the finals but lost. As a little emergence for the Los Angeles Kings defeated the Rangers. Uh, there is still hope for the Canadians to come back. For now, they're struggling hard. We, I will deny it. They deserve it. Somehow, but in some way. But hey, the dynasty is gone. There was once an emergence of the Ro Detroit Red Wings, who were the most successful team in sports to win the President's Trophy and win the Stanley Cup in the same year. Note that in mind. Note that in mind that they did that successfully. I said that successfully did it. Most times, pre uh, people who win the President's Trophy lose in the playoffs or in the finals, such as the C C Vancouver Canucks, who lost in the finals to the Boston Bruins. Yeah, I told a lot. So you can see here, I am done with this quiz, and I was done with the previous quiz. <sighs> I told a lot. Yes, I told a lot. And now, since there's a new team in Seattle, in the 2020 season or 2021 season, we can expect hockey back in Seattle since the days of the Seattle Metropolitans of the PSHA. Who folded in, in 19. I don't know, 1970. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching your lectures in my books. And peace!